Good morning, guys, and welcome to another review from me, Matt. The Bearded Berserker. There was an intro and a half on it. Hope you guys are keeping safe and well wherever you are in the world, whatever you've been getting up to. Yeah, starting to get mad around here now because lockdown seems like it's kind of coming to an end and people are around about, shops are open again. Give it a few weeks, we'll all be back on lockdown again. But I hope you are keeping safe and well and welcome to another one of my reviews. Now, if you're expecting flashy graphics, intros, outros, you ain't gonna be getting it here because I'm a simple old man with his simple old iPad in front of him. I literally record my videos, upload them straight onto YouTube, so don't really have much of an opportunity to edit my videos or anything like that due to the software that I use as low tech. Um, so yeah. Thank you guys so, so much for all the support that I'm getting. Thank you for all the support I'm getting over on Instagram as Viking Beard Matt. And here on my Beard of Berserker YouTube channel where I'm just trying my hardest to help promote, support and advertise only small brands, individuals and craftsmen out there, not huge, massive, faceless brands. Because let's face it, they can look after themselves. And also, thank you. Thank you so, so much for all the birthday wishes another year older which means i'm closer to being able to blame everything on senility happy stuff uh yeah so thank you for all the birthday wishes with all the reviews that i do on my channel trying to help these small brands individuals and craftsmen out there all the reviews i do are always completely honest completely unbiased and everything i do is my own opinion because i would hate to, i'm not an ambassador I really, it does irk me with that whole thing. Oh, ambassador and an influencer. I am not an influencer or an ambassador. I promote small brands, individuals and craftsmen, advertise them, support them and help them as much as I possibly can. I think those words ambassador and influencer are used far too many by people after free stuff or just oh hi yeah i'm an inf you ain't going to influence me there is no influence me i'm too old and i like what i like you know so i'm purely a promoter advertiser helper and supporter of only small brands individuals and craftsmen so i ain't no influencer uh first things first i'm glad we coffee before i get started mm -mm -mm. so yes this morning's review has been very, very kindly sent through from Scotland Modern. Thank you so, so much for sending this through for me to have a look at, see what I think of, give you guys my honest opinion. Links, as always, will be down below in that description box. So, as you know, possibly you might not know, I have Scottish ancestors. Um, I always have had, funnily enough, Scottish ancestors ever since I was born. I've had them and I love Scotland. Is one of those places in my life that you kind of go to and just feel like you're home. I've uh, got a trip booked up into Aberfoyle in a couple of weeks' time. I'm going to be doing photo shoots and stuff like that and exploring. Can't wait for that. Um, so, Scotland Modern has very kindly sent through something for me to have a look at, see what I think of. And they, Scotland Modern does loads of stuff, depending on what clan you're from, um, or whether you're just into Scottish history and the whole Scottish culture, which I am, numerous kilts, um, even Black Stuart tablecloth, or fly player that I'm using as a tablecloth. Um, but they do all sorts of stuff, from clothing, trainers, wall art, maps, clothing, gifts, jewellery, all sorts of manner of pieces. And they took me through one of their artworks for me to have a look at, see what I think of, and give you guys my opinion. So the frame and the backing on this is actually mine. It came just as the print itself, and this is it. And um, this is the Farquharson, who is done by R.R. McKeon also known as Rob Ronald McKinn, who was an actor and painter in 1803. And he kind of does a lot of romanticized depictions of Scottish clans and clansmen. He has around about, I think it's 37 um, pictures, 
or clans pictures that he has done and this is the one that I went for because it's beginning to look a bit like me and how I feel in life and um, sorry about the reflections and everything on there there are loads and loads of sizes um, I think this is the 20 by 16 inch version like I say I have put this in my own frame uh, with the red backing behind it but it's really cool and I love the I love the pictures that R.R. McKeon has done um, I know it's heavily romanticized I'm bringing it closer I know I'm disappearing out of view and I've got this on the back which is what I've used to hang it um, but I just love the fact that he's kind of got that expression on his face of like oh what now just sat down and rest for five minutes and yeah kind of what do you want and what does it say on the tombstone in Mac something or other yeah uh, 1746 looks like it's sitting by a gravestone um, but it's absolutely stunning literally took around about a week for it to turn up it came in what I can only describe as the packaging that you would send an extremely large Toblerone in which is kind of one of those triangular peaked chocolate bars and um, this is the Farquharson um, not actually my clan tartan but uh, out of all the designs that I've done I just like this one because it just kind of it's got that look at me you know what now kind of look but absolutely beautiful it's nice to see kind of like old style prints being brought back to life I mean you can frame it in just loads of different sizes um, I think there's six different sizes that you can choose from and it's absolutely it's beautiful. It's sitting there in the room. Well, it's not sitting there at the moment in the review room because it's here in my hands. Uh, I do love what Scotland Modern is creating. Like I say, the, it, depending on what tartan or clan you've, you have, your family tartan, your clan or whichever, there are loads of things. They're doing some amazing trainers at the moment. I know there's a competition going on on the website and there may well be something going on here within Beard of Berserker and Scotland Modern as well um, very soon so stay tuned for that but they're doing loads of stuff and so if you have someone that is of Scottish ancestry or just a keen interest in Scottish history then absolutely stunning and the price on the actual print itself with my notes in front of me £33.89 which I think it's cool because it looks really nice. You could probably do a better job of framing it than I had. This one, to be honest, was the only... Get rid of that. There's the cord that hangs it. Um, to be honest, this is the only frame that I had for this print. And this is the Farquhar's. And, uh, I don't know whether they're actually clan leaders or just clansmen. Uh, but really cool. And like I said, back in the day, when England and Scotland... And, England had a massive thing over kind of the whole Scottish history. Um, I'm not going to go into all the details and stuff like that because it's well publicised online. But sort of like the British suddenly had an interest in Scottish culture and kings went up there and everything. So yeah, really, really nice. Um, uh, as you can see, and it's decent size, so that's my head, and that's the actual picture size. Loads of different sizes. I'm going to put that down there before I drop it, and glass goes everywhere, which, knowing me, is going to happen. So, yeah, Scotland Modern, they're on Etsy. Um, I'm going to be putting links down below. Please show them some support. And I do love the fact that, because with my ancestors, you know, they started in Ireland moved up to Scotland, then down on the west coast um, to where up until probably about 20 odd years ago uh, before they died, my grand, my granddad and my grandfather on my mother, grandmother, grandmother? Yeah, grandmother and grandfather lived in Bristol um, on my dad's side. And so I've traced it all the way back of kind of where we came from Ireland up to Scotland, down into Wales. 
and it's really interesting trying to sort of like find out where you come from and your roots and your history and stuff because it gives you a bit of belonging and knowing where you're actually from as opposed to just your mum and dad so I'm all up for that they do loads and loads of clans like I say the pictures are in 30 the 37 different clans that they do different sizes very good custom service with them as well um, I'm not sure whether they do framed if you want them framed or not uh, not sure on that one but absolutely took about a week to get here cannot complain and there's loads of trainers as well sort of basketball high top trainers and everything in clan tartans um, I did get some McDonald's stuff because I've got this um, I am I do have my own family tartan which is price um, but also I found out as well that it's kind of mixed in with uh, McDonald as well and the price time is absolutely horrible. It's like people were sitting there at two o'clock in the morning getting absolutely smashed on whiskey and were like, yeah, that'll do. And it's a Welsh tartan. But yeah, somewhere along the lines, it kind of divides from um, the price tartan up until the sort of McDonald tartan but, or clan. So yeah, thank you so, so much to Scotland Modern for sending this through for me to have a look at. Absolutely stunning. It is going on the wall in the review room. The reason I'm doing it in the kitchen as I've got a bit more room. Thank you so, so much to each and every single one of you. I do respond and answer any questions that are made, which is down there in the description box. Anybody out there that needs any help or support, whatever, please get in touch with me. I never, ever, ever and won't ever charge or one commission for anything that I do. I'm just here trying to help others and show you guys that there are some amazing products being made by the smaller brands and individuals and craftsmen out there. So thank you so, so much. May well have another review this afternoon. Haven't quite decided yet. Um, but whatever you're up to, keep on taking care of each other, keep on helping and supporting each other. And above all, keep on loving each other because you only live once and make the most of it. Have a great afternoon. Thank you so, so much. Take care of yourselves. Don't forget, please show uh, Scotland Modern some support and a help. Give them a like and a follow. Have a great day, guys. Take care. Love to you all. Thank you.